finally, finally, we can confirm NASCAR 21 Ignition exists. Welcome on In Gearheads. I'm Alan Bailey, and today we're going to break down everything that we know about the new motorsports game, NASCAR 21 Ignition, that's coming out in fall 2021. So I know I was the guy who was like, this game isn't real. I'm starting to think it's not going to be a good game. And I got to say, this trailer did ease some of my concerns that this game doesn't actually exist. Clearly it exists. We finally have the announcement trailer for it with a release date and a lot more features. We're going to go through everything in this video. But before we begin, make sure you mash that subscribe button. You give us a thumbs up and you let me know in the comments down below once the video is over. What are you looking forward to the most with NASCAR 21 Ignition. What features are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments down below and mash that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Now let's get into it. This trailer also brought up some concerns of mine, so I'm a little on the fence about this game still. I'm leaning more towards, okay, this might not be a bad game than I was before, but we're going to break it down. So uh, IGN actually dropped the trailer today, and I got to say, it looks absolutely phenomenal. I can't bash the trailer. It actually looks really, really, really good. The music choice is very hot. The shots of Through the Garage Area, even the quick shots that we saw of the actual NPC, PCs in the game look fairly good. You get the garage experience for the first time in several years in the game again. You get a little bit of a look at the crash damage and the damage model of the new game. But let's go through everything. We know that it's running on the Unreal Engine using R Factor 2 physics, which we've already documented are pretty good physics, I'm not gonna lie. So that leads me towards, yeah, this actually might be a good game driving wise. However, a major concern that I do have, something that we see in this trailer, is the AI driving both on Nashville and at Las Vegas, and they appear to be in a train, all running the same line, nose to tail. That's worrisome. That's my biggest worry. Because if the AI is just running the same line and you they can't pass each other, they're not using multi-grooves, that's going to be a problem. Now, does that necessarily mean that that's what it's going to be stuck with? No. Nashville is a new track, or at least it's a newer track compared to the games that we've had in the past couple of seasons. And frankly, because it's a newer track, motorsports games just simply didn't have the data of the preferred line and where the actual racing groups were going to be. That could be a day one patch where they add in the AI using the different racing groups, or it could be a major glitch that gets fixed down the road. We don't know yet. We got to wait and see. We can confirm, though, that you can start pre-ordering NASCAR 21 Ignition on August 12th, 2021. It is releasing on the Xbox One, the PS4, and on PC through Steam on October 26th, 2021. That's a lot later than I was hearing it was going to actually be released. I was hearing early to mid-September, but apparently I think there might actually be some glitches with the game that need to be correcting, because they've pushed this game back and pushed it back and pushed it back, and frankly, I agree with that. I am okay with this game getting delayed, because I want a good game. We have dealt with five years of garbage games from the Heat series. I don't mean to bash the Heat series, but... Frankly, those games look and feel like they came out 10 years ago, not a year ago. And finally, we're getting a major advance forward. They essentially threw out the NASCAR Heat games and they completely restarted from scratch. For three years, this game has been in development with the team at Motorsports Games working on it. And they've acquired different companies. They brought in different companies to help make this game good. And I don't want to say it's all or nothing with this game, but... It's kind of all or nothing with this game. There's a lot going on here. Motorsports Games acquired Studio 397 in order to build this game. They acquired 704 for this game, and they brought in a lot of outside help over the course of the last three years in order to make this game good. So if there's one NASCAR video game that you buy in the next 10 years, it probably should be this. But it begs the question. It's being released on the Xbox One, the PS4, and PC. What about the new Xbox console? What about the PS5? We simply don't know yet, and it didn't mention the Switch in the trailer. We're being told that there will be another version of the Switch that comes out in early 2022. 
Is that simply going to be a dummy down version of this game for the Switch? More than likely, but we can't confirm that yet. But it has been confirmed that they are working on a Switch version of the NASCAR consoles. The first time that a NASCAR game will be on a Switch. So it's kind of a big deal. There are two versions of the game that are coming out. The standard version, NASCAR Ignition, which has Bubba Wallace, Chase Elliott, and Ryan Blaney on the cover with their respected cars. Finally, I can say that. For the last few years, for some reason, the NASCAR games have only had the athletes and not the vehicles for some reason. Very strange, I know, but finally they're going in the right direction. They're also releasing a Champions Edition. We've seen different versions of this in the past with Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart being on the covers of these games and being playable drivers in these games. This year, we're going old school, and I dig it. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville is on the cover of a NASCAR game once again. I absolutely love it. And if you actually log on, and if you actually go to the Motorsports game page for this video game, you actually see some really good screenshots of Awesome Bill's number nine meddling Ford, which is so cool to see that old paint job on a brand new Ford Mustang. It absolutely looks amazing. Some of the screenshots, I'm going to throw them up right now, are absolutely stunning. Just looking at this Bill Elliott paint scheme, I got to say, I'm buying that championship edition because it looks so cool. We actually also have confirmation that the garage area is going to be included, which has made sense for me for several years, and it's something that's been missing from these games, but we're finally getting that garage experience back in these games. You see this shot of Chase Elliott in the garage with Brad Keselowski and with Austin Dillon next to him. It feels and looks a lot more like an authentic garage experience. And as somebody who's walked through the garage area for the past 15 years, I can tell you every single one of these garages is different every single one. I can tell without looking that this shot happens to be Vegas. I can tell without even looking that this shot is still in Vegas. Now, I don't think Motorsports Games is foolish enough to just go scan one garage area and copy it to all the tracks. I'm willing to bet that Motorsports Games did their homework and actually went through and created garage areas for all the different tracks. No two garage areas in the NASCAR series actually look alike. And I think Motorsports Games actually did their homework on this one and went to all these garages to create that unique experience. Is there a benefit to pre-ordering this game as soon as August 12th, 2021? Absolutely. If you pre-order the game Standard or Championship Edition, you'll be given early access to the game two full days in advance. Plus, you'll receive a special edition paint scheme with your pre-order. You know I'm going to pre-order it. I'm going to be playing it on day one like there's no tomorrow. According to the website, players will feel like they're in the NASCAR Cup Series garage area and on pit road before each session, with voiceovers from MRN Radio and 2311 Racing's Freddie Kraft. Celebrate your victories with your crew in victory lane sequences, showcasing the scanned NASCAR Cup Series drivers and accurately modeled event trophies. That means they actually took pictures of the trophies, and it's not just the same copy and paste like we had in the Heat series. And with Studio 397's highly acclaimed R-Factor physics engine and dynamic AI, players will have an experience unlike anything before in a NASCAR title. Plus, the thing that the community has been asking for for the better part of 10 years is finally back in NASCAR games. A brand new paint booth offers unrivaled level of customization that allows you to create your own NASCAR Cup Series paint scheme complete with your own iconic race number. This is something that's been missing for over 10 years from the NASCAR games. Literally, the last time we had anything like this was literally 10 years ago in 2011 and it's finally back in a game. You pick the number, you pick the font, and you pick the paint scheme, and based on a couple of the screenshots, it looks like we can get pretty custom and pretty trick with it. So I'm gonna be interested to see what this paint booth looks like. I'm not exactly king at paint booths, and frankly, the thing I'm worried about is I can hop into Photoshop and create a great, brilliant paint scheme. However, I'm more concerned about people like 
My niece, who's only 10 years old, who wants to get into NASCAR, she doesn't have Photoshop skills. Will she be able to pick up this paint booth and actually create a paint scheme that she's not only happy with, but is user friendly? I'm not saying it needs to be dumbed down. I'm saying I'm hoping that there's a happy medium between appeasing kids and appeasing the gamers like me who have been playing NASCAR games for the better part of 10, 15 years. Motorsports Games also confirmed that all of the official racetracks featured in the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series schedule are included in the game, including Circuit of the Americas, the Daytona Road Course, and Nashville Super Speedway. No mention of Road America on this list. However, we did see some screenshots that look an awful lot like Road America, so I'm willing to bet Road America is in the game as well. The soundtrack of a NASCAR game can make and break a game. Obviously, we're never going to touch the iconic NASCAR Thunder 2004 soundtrack. However, this one might be close. They did acknowledge that artists like MGK, Imagine Dragons, Aerosmith, and Luke Combs are all in the game. That right there shows you not only a plethora of good artists, but the wide selection of music that is in the game. There's not a complete track list that's been released as of yet, but that gives you kind of a taste of what this game has to offer. Now, they also put up a very useful chart that I will put up now, which is which edition is best for you? Championship, Standard Edition, or purchasing the Standard Edition with the Season Pass. Let's go through it here. If you pre-order the game, you get the pre-order bonus, which is the two-day early access and the paint scheme on the Championship and Standard Edition, but not the Season Pass. Bill Elliott as a playable character and his paint schemes only in the Championship Edition. The in-game career booster. We're assuming this has normally been uh, money and or a contract offer with a big team. That's only in the Championship Edition. DLC number one plus a legendary driver only in the Championship Edition or the Season Pass. DLC number two plus Legendary Driver on the Championship Edition and the Season Pass. Same with DLC number three plus a Legendary Driver. This confirms what I suggested months ago, that there will be Legendary Drivers in the game. Now, who those Legendary Drivers are, we don't know. You go back to 2004, we had drivers like Tiny Lung, Alan Kowicki, Dale Earnhardt Sr., Richard Petty in the game, and it was absolutely wonderful. We don't know if this is going to be unlockable. The DL, the fact that it comes out with a DLC leads me to believe that you could just purchase these legendary drivers. I'm not a fan of DLCs, but frankly, that's the way of the land. DLCs are not going away. I simply would like to see a combination of DLCs for new paint schemes that are coming out all season long, but unlockable legendary drivers that we saw in NASCAR Thunder 2004 and previous games. I don't think that that's ever going to come back. This would have been the perfect opportunity to bring that back, but it looks like Motorsports Game is sticking with DLC for now at least. Now, if you're looking at which one is the best value, hands down the Championships Edition comes with everything. That one will literally have everything that you could want in the game. And frankly, the Season Pass can help you get those DLCs if you just want the DLCs. But if you're a fan of Bill Elliott or you want a good booster heading into your career mode, no doubt about it, Championship Edition is where you got to go. Plus, if you pre-order, you get the two-day early access no matter if you go with the Standard or Championship Edition. No information as far as pricing is concerned. Another really, really cool feature that the game has is different aero packages at different tracks. If you're a hardcore NASCAR fan, you know that a car that races at Daytona and Talladega, the restrictor plate tracks, looks vastly different than a track that races at the road courses or at the short tracks versus the speedways. These are all very different aero packages, and finally we can confirm that each car will actually have the wicker bill and different things on it. We're in an interesting transitional period for NASCAR because this is our last game with this current generation of vehicle. The game that comes out in 2022 will have the NASCAR next gen car that looks so vastly different with different number placements, different aero underneath the car, and a vastly different body style for each one of these vehicles. So. In a way, this game already feels dated in a sense, but because the graphics are so much more improved 
than what we saw in the Heat series, it still feels like a brand new thing. Now, we didn't get a really good look at the damage model. We got a tiny little tease, and it looks okay so far, but really, we don't have a good feel of what the damage model is in this game as of yet. The crowd sizes the atmosphere of the racetrack, I can tell you, look absolutely authentic to what they are in real life. Now, NASCAR garage areas are extraordinarily crowded pre-COVID, so whether or not that comes into the game and stays in the game, we're not sure. But we're going to find out by the end of October what this game looks and feels like more in-depthly. But we can almost certainly confirm that the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the NASCAR Truck Series are not in this game. We more or less had a feeling that this was going to be the case, and frankly, I'm 100% okay with it. Frankly, Motorsports games got to focus on the Cup Series and really work on the physics of these cars, work on the looks of these cars, the damage model of these cars, and put all their focus into just this one series. If they tried to take on the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series simultaneously, they would have split their attention and all three would have suffered because of it. Because they only had to focus on the Cup Series, we're truly going to get a really immersive experience with these Cup cars that potentially could rival iRacing. I said it. I know. The iRacing community is up in arms and they're going, Oh, never! Never will they be better! The console games will never be better! Frankly, if there's ever been an opportunity for a console game to surpass iRacing, this is it. No mention of what esports is going to be like with this game, but we know that there has always been a big push with the esport community with these NASCAR games. Motorsports games indicated that that was going to happen in this game as well, but there was absolutely no mention of it. My theory is that they are still working out the kinks with their esports series, with their servers, making sure that everything is working properly before the game comes out. Why else would you wait until the end of October? to release your game. I'm just saying, it's not necessarily a wave the red flag, this is a bad game. It's just they clearly have put in the time, the effort, and the money to make this game as good as possible. And clearly, it has been pushed back and pushed back as far as humanly possible. October 26, 2021, we will find out what this game is all about. And if you pre-order, like I am, you'll get to play the game on October 24th, 2021, which is what I'm planning on doing. Planning on buying that championship edition through Steam for my PC. I'm going to be jumping on that day, putting up my first career mode video. Probably going to be streaming over on my Twitch as well as I play the game, just to get you guys involved because I want to experience that game with you guys as soon as it drops. Don't know if I'm going to be playing it at midnight when it drops, but I'm going to be playing it as soon as possible on the 24th. I absolutely can't wait. If you want to pre-order NASCAR 21 Ignition right now, head over to motorsportsgames.com in order to pre-order either on the PS4, the Xbox One, or on the PC through Steam right now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that NASCAR 21 Ignition is actually a step in the right direction based on this one minute trailer that we keep playing over and over again? Do you think it's going to be a good game? Or do you think that this is going to be a crapshoot and we might as well just throw the game in the garbage right now? I don't necessarily think that. I think it's actually going to be a decent game at worst. But let me know what you think in the comments down below and what feature of NASCAR 20 What Ignition are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure you mash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure that you give me a follow over on my social media accounts at Bailey on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. You can also support the channel over on patreon.com forward slash Bailey For the NASCAR 21 Ignition trailer, I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.